Hello friends. Friends, we are going to continue with share capital. And we completed with over subscription and under subscription of shares. Right, that is one of the most important topics of share capital. And in the last lecture, we completed preparation of cash book. Right. In that I told you that any entries that are related to cash book will be posted to sorry any entries related to the cash will be posted to cash book and will not be journalized rest of the entries will be done as we have done in journal entry right now what we are going to do in this lecture is we are going to start with another topic that is calls in areas right now the first question is what are calls in areas we have touched upon a bit in the very beginning when we discussed about disclosure in balance sheet right now here we are going to do it as a proper topic what are calls in areas what do you mean by calls in areas simply saying amount called up by the company right but not paid by the shareholders clear so simply saying what is calls in areas it is the amount that has been called up by the company but it is not paid by the shareholders it can be allotment money it can be first and final call it can be first call and the second call any amount that has been called by the company see the company received applications company allotted the shares now they will call the money on shares this is in case of installments clear people have subscribed to the shares but they have not paid the full money company has called up for the money but it has not been paid by the shareholders right if the amount is not called up by the company then it is absolutely a different case amount hasn't been called by the company then why will the shareholders pay here the amount has been called by the company but has not been paid by the shareholders clear now how to deal with this situation there are two methods there are two methods of dealing with this situation the first one is by not opening by not opening calls in areas account and the second one is opening calls in areas account right now i'll take one example and i will cover both the methods in one example right so let us take an example a company issued 20000 shares of rupees 10 each right payable as four on application right three on three on allotment and three on first and final call right then i say a person holding 5000 shares failed to pay first and final call that means the company has called for the first and final call but a person who is holding 5000 shares he failed to pay the first and final call 
clear now the question is how to deal with this situation first of all what will be the journal entry what will be the first journal entry you issued shares the first step is you receive applications and along with applications you receive application money on 20000 shares you receive application money at the rate of rupees 4 so what is the journal entry first bank account debit to share application account right on 20000 shares you received application money at the rate of rupees 4 that is 80000 rupees then at the time of allotment you allotted 20000 shares at the time of allotment you will transfer this application money to share capital account right you accepted all the applications you allotted 20000 shares you transfer share application money to share capital account then comes allotment first you will say what is the amount due on allotment for this you will say share allotment account debit to share capital account clear to share capital account how much on 20,000 shares at the rate of rupees 3 on 20,000 shares at the rate of rupees 3 60,000 and you received all the money on allotment what is the entry when you receive bank account debit to share allotment account the, with this we close the share allotment account the money is received in bank and thereby credited to share capital clear now comes the first and final call first of all what is the amount due on first and final call on 20,000 shares at the rate of rupees 3 what is the entry for amount due share first and final call account debit to share capital account how much 20,000 shares multiplied by 3 this comes to 60,000 now this entry reflects the amount that is this entry reflects the amount due this is amount due on first and final call now can you tell me what is the amount received on first and final call what is the amount received on first and final call he says a person holding 5000 shares failed to pay first and final call that means you received first and final call on how many shares 15000 shares so in bank so you will say bank account debit how much money you have received in bank you have received on 15000 shares multiplied by 3 45000 in bank you have received money on 15,000 shares because a person holding 5,000 shares he has not paid the first and final call and what you do you credit share first and final call share first and final call with 45,000 clear now can you tell me the amount due was 60,000 and amount received is 45,000 we debited share first and final call with 60,000 but we credited with 45,000 that means 
फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज इज स्टिल पेंडिंग फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज विल बी शोन एज अमाउंट ड्यू वट इज अमाउंट ड्यू अमाउंट ड्यू इज कॉल्स इन एरियर्स राइट सो दिस इज स्टेप वन दिस इज मेथड वन एंट्री this is method 1 entry what you do here is you are not opening the calls in arrears account you are simply crediting crediting the call account that is share first and final call with the amount that you have received so 15000 will keep standing in share first and final call account you are not closing this account clear you are not closing this account what you do is you simply credit the share first and final call account with the amount that is received if you see here the first and final call debited is 60000 credited is 45000 that means 15000 is still there in your share first and final call account 15000 will reflect as amount that is still receivable against the call clear now what is method 2 let us see the method 2 entry you will debit bank with whatever you have received 45000 now in method 2 you decide to close the share first and final call account share first and final call you credit share first and final call with 60000 now what is to be done with the 15000 balance for that you will open a new account that is known as calls in arrears account debit right that is 15000 clear what you did is you closed the share first and final call account with 60000 now what is pending with you 15000 bank is pending and calls in arrears 15000 clear calls in arrears is debited with 15000 that reflects the amount this calls in arrears this reflects amount receivable that is amount called up by the company but not received clear this calls in arrears account reflects the amount that is receivable but not received this is method 2 entry this is your method 2 of dealing with calls in arrears method one is we do not open calls in arrear account what we do is we keep the amount pending in the call account that is share first and final call or it can be second call it can be allotment money the amount the call on which the amount has not been received that call will be pending we are not opening a new account that is calls in arrears account we simply credit the call account with the amount that is received the pending amount will automatically reflect in that account right because here if you see 45000 if i cancel this out with this here 15000 my balance will be still pending clear so this is step 1 right in the method 2 you open calls in arrears account you close the call account you credit the share first and final call with 60000 you closed that account you open a new account calls in arrears account and there the amount will reflect that is receivable but has not been received that is amount that has been called by the company but it has not been received by the company that is calls in arrears now what is the journal entry if this calls are received what will be the journal entry if this calls are received the journal entry will be very simple you will simply say bank because the money will come into your bank bank account debit to 
you will close calls in areas account clear this comes to 15,000 and 15,000 what is the net effect of these three and uh, these three entries can you identify this calls in areas will be cancelled what will happen this calls in areas will be cancelled with this calls in areas right and this share first and final call will be cancelled with share first and final call 60,000 what is left share capital is credited with 60,000 bank is debited with first 45,000 then 15,000 the net entry will be bank to share capital 60,000 try to read the journal entries this is very important right why we are debiting why we are crediting how to read the net effect of the two journal entries here it is very important that is what i am trying to teach you right see in the share capital the net effect will be your bank will increase and your capital should increase that's it remember one thing it should be the if main effect will go to just two things one the bank will increase other your share capital will increase if the bank is increasing it should be debited your share capital is increasing it should be on the credit side with the full amount this is what is happening bank is debited with 60,000 share capital is credited with 60,000 clear So I have told you two methods of dealing with calls in areas in the method one we are not opening calls in areas account the amount that is due that is receivable will keep standing to the first and final call account it can be second call account it can be share allotment account any account on which the money has not been received clear and if you are following the second method in which you will close the call account right you will close the call account you will open a new account calls in areas account where the pending amount where the amount that is receivable but has not been received will reflect that is calls in areas account right now make one important note here unless otherwise specified in the question prefer opening calls in areas account that is follow method 2 clear unless the question clearly specifies that you do not have to open the calls in areas prefer opening the calls in areas account that is follow the method 2 that is more preferable clear now the question is the disclosure of calls in areas in balance sheet this we have already discussed i will just quickly go through it disclosure of calls in areas in balance sheet now when you prepare a balance sheet when you prepare a balance sheet what is the first thing in this is you will prepare notes to accounts calls in areas will appear in notes to accounts very first point is share capital what is the first thing that you take in share capital authorized capital right then after authorized capital you have issued capital 
Then the third one you have is subscribed capital. In the subscribed capital, you have a subhead subscribed and not fully paid. Right? Under this head, you will show calls in areas. This we have already discussed in the earlier lecture when we discussed about disclosures in balance sheet. Right? Just go through that lecture. After this, once go through that lecture. That will clarify. There we did the practical problem also. Right? You will get the clarity there. So this is how we deal with calls in areas. There are two methods. One is not opening the calls in areas account. And the second one is opening the calls in areas account. Right? In the absence of any information, right? Unless otherwise specified in the question, always try to follow method two. Always try to open calls in areas account and close the call account. Call account means it, it can be first call account, second call account, allotment account, whatever it is, try to close all the call accounts. Clear? So this is how you should be dealing with calls in areas. Clear friends? So if you have any queries, just send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com right in the next lecture what we are going to do is we are going to do similar topic the opposite of calls in areas we're going to do calls in advance this is a very simple topic right this is what we are going to do calls in advance right so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much